Hey guys, <laughs> how are you? Um, I told you guys that I would answer some questions for you on Instagram. And here I am answering those questions. Happy holidays, everybody. Make sure you stay safe and, um, you know, make this holiday the best you can make it. I'll start with that. So let's get to your questions and uh, let's see what you asked me. This is my first time seeing them. Let's go. How long have you been an actress? I've been acting since about 2006. So you do the math. <laughs> 2006 is when I started. Believe it or not, I never wanted to be an actress growing up. I always wanted to be a singer. So I was that little girl standing in front of the TV watching Soul Train like, I don't want to be on that stage. So, um, yeah, music is my first love. And I would say that acting was my, I mean, I kind of fell into acting because someone told me I should be doing it. And then I still was able to find my musical voice within the acting. So now acting has become my number one because it allows me to do it all. I hope that helps. <laughs> Next question. What about your, what about your life motivates you? What about your life motivates you? Um, I think if I don't act, I don't eat, and I like to eat. <laughs> Does that answer that? Uh, yeah, that, I mean, what motivates me is I love what I do. It doesn't feel like work. Um, it feels like play, and I get to meet so many different people, and one thing I love about my life is I get to live a thousand lives in one. Yeah. Next. How do you stay encouraged in times like these? Oh, because I know that there is someone who holds my future. And um, I am a Christian and I believe uh, what the Bible says about um, God having a hope for my future and not to harm me so that all, <clears throat> excuse me, all things work together for my good. So anything that I may even think is um, kind of setting out to harm me, I know that in the end, it's going to end up in my favor. So um, it's, if uh, when I lean to that, then it's hard to get upset about things happening, right? So um, that's how I stay encouraged is I, I stay close to my word and I keep my faith up. That's it. How do you get discovered when you are in a small town and do not have a large social media presence? Well, um, I'm from Oakland, California. I wouldn't say I'm from a small town, but do you, believe it or not, always being ready, I would say. My girlfriends and I were walking down the street literally when Black Sheep was sh filming their video and they asked us to be in the video and we turned them down. And then one of our girlfriends says, well, they can sing. And he said, well, sing something. So we sang and he was like, I'm going to get you guys a record deal. That's literally how we got a record deal. So A, we had been practicing all every Saturday was our practices. So we were always ready for the opportunity. And number two, um, what I didn't have that you all have now is this, YouTube. YouTube is how I, I, I can say, I guess secondarily got discovered because it was, um, a YouTube channel called The Braley Show that's still up today. Go look, it'll be like 10 years ago. <laughs> but um, yeah, I put some sketches up on YouTube and doors begin to open. So no matter where you're from, what God has for you, you're gonna get it. But please give him something to work with. So start rehearsing, go to classes, get on YouTube and show your talent. Next. When will you have your own sitcom starring you? You better come on. When Jesus say yes, nobody can say no. When Jesus say yes, nobody can say no. I don't know. Um, the when is not my business, but I know it's coming. Um, 
I've had some wonderful opportunities to be series regulars on a couple of shows these days, and I cannot wait to have a sitcom that is starring Brayley Evans. That was that would be fantastic. So it's coming. I, it's definitely a desire of mine. Okay, next question. Uh, what advice would you give someone who wants to start acting? I would say start acting. <laughs> and then remember that acting is not acting. Do everything but act. And then you're really acting. Oh, I hope I answered that good for you. Oh, this hair, what do you want to do? Okay, are you single and looking? I am single but not looking. Honey, I need to be found. Okay, queens are found. You know what I'm saying? Diamonds are fat, are minded. You know, you have to mind for this. You just you just don't get this right here. Okay. <laughs> Y'all crazy with these questions. Next. Um, do you miss real estate? Absolutely, I miss real estate. Um, it was very fulfilling helping people purchase the biggest asset that they would ever buy in their entire lives. Isn't that something like the biggest purchase they'll ever make? So um, I do miss real estate in that regard and I'm going to get back into it really soon. I keep you guys posted. What is something you wish someone would have told you before getting into the business? I wish they would have told me that I was good enough, that I could just trust my gifts and be loud with them and not be shy and, you know, go out for everything and that, you know, where I was, not my talent was enough. Like, I think it took me some years to get comfortable with myself and be bold. Um, and once I did, things began to open up. But if I'd have done that from day one, oh, honey, I think I would be further along. So, um, you know, I think you just trust your gut and trust your gift that uh, you, you are not put out here to do it on your own. Next question. If God granted you three wishes, what would they be? <gasps> okay, what well, God is not a genie in a bottle. <laughs> um, let's see, what would my three wishes be? I'll play along with you guys. Well, this may change, but as of today, my three wishes would be, um, let's see, uh, that's hard. I would say, Lord, send my life partner who I'm madly in love with and he with me, send our children and send us a bunch of money. <laughs> so we can help other people, of course. Those are my three wishes. How did you get the idea of your logo as your silhouette? Somebody on my team. I'm trying to remember who on my team was like, it'd be dope if you just blacked it out. And I cannot remember exactly which one of you it was. And I, I remember being on the phone with someone and they were like, yeah, just take your logo and just black it out. So it just shows your shape. And I was like, okay. And I mean, that was like the best idea ever because that silhouette is banging. I was like, is that me? Did they cinch the waist? Did they do this? They were like, no, we just blacked it out. So uh, was it Brody? I don't know who it was. I can't remember, but somebody on my team. Thank God for a team. Next question. Uh, what can we look to see you in next? Well, as of right now, um, I am on two shows on UMC. One is called the um, For the Love of Jason, and the other is called Terror Lake Drive. And then uh, season two or part two uh, of Family Business is coming on December 31st on BET+. Plus. So there's a lot of stuff coming up to keep you entertained and go and look for me now. I think I even got a couple things on Netflix. So just put my name in a search somewhere on the internet and I'm sure you'll get lucky. Next question. Let's see, um, what or who was your inspiration to start acting? Again, I was never really inspired to act, to be honest with you guys. I just always wanted to perform. I knew I wanted to, um, you know, entertain. Uh, and it was mostly music people that I, that I was looking up to at the time. Um, so the inspiration to act 
didn't really come from one particular place because someone told me I should try it and I tried it and it kind of worked really quickly. Um, but over the years, I've come to uh, love all the greats that you guys love too. And um, I mean, it's just like a plethora of people, uh, people that are behind the scenes and people that are on the camera. Mara Akil is one that has, I mean, really, really been instrumental in my career. And um, she's behind the scenes. She's a writer, director, you know, producer. And, um, you know, just watching others live it. Queen Latifah is one of my other, just I love watching her do her crap, right? And watching her made me think that I could do it too. And then she sings, she raps, she acts, and she has businesses and owns properties and da da da. And so when I look at people like her, it, it gets me excited. Well, I look at Steve Harvey as another one I absolutely love. And see, it's not even really for their acting, it's really for their business acumen that I um, really adore because I'm totally a right brain, left brain. Like I have this whole business side and then I have this whole creative side. So it's interesting. Next question, next. I should be doing that dance. Who's next? <laughs> Who's next? Okay, I'm sorry. <laughs> what um, do you like to read? If so, what is your favorite? Who is your favorite author? No. I don't like to read. I really don't. I love reading scripts, but not books. I love listening to audio books. Yes, I have a, a multi-year standing um, subscription to Audible. I love to listen to books. So when I'm driving and you see me driving down the street, it's never the radio. It's always a book. And I have some um, uh, authors, oh my gosh, so many of them, uh, Seth Rogen is coming to mind right now, just because I've been uh, on Purple Cow right now. Um, I mean, I love Florence Chauvel Shin. Like, she's changed my life with her writings. Um, I've been listening to that the most. Um, I, I love self-help books, um, things about business and how to you know, who moved my cheese. And um, I just finished another one, which, um, uh, what is the title? Uh, it is called, uh, watch, I'm gonna come up with it later. Um, I can't even think of it, but my girlfriend said, that I'm reading this book. I was like, I'm reading that too. And I just finished it. Um, Rich Dad, Poor Dad is dope. Um, it's just so, so many books like that. That's the kind of stuff I like to listen to read, but, um, yeah, so that's where I'm at. And I, I love all the, the plethora of authors who came together for, um, the Bible. <laughs> Next question. What is your advice for ladies that are plus size and interested in acting? I say, come on, there is room for you, honey. Our hips ain't taking, my hips ain't taking up all the space in the acting world. So bring your, I'm sorry, I'm just scratching like I'm at, well, I am at home. <laughs> I'm scratching like y'all over my house. Um, I say, come on in, like there's room for you. You want to act right, you don't need to lose weight. I wish someone had told me that. You don't need to lose weight. You are beautiful just the way you are. Um, and your story, there are stories for you to tell in the body that you're in, okay? Who's next? Okay. Uh, what advice would you give someone that might be struggling in their faith? Ooh. I would say, you know that breath you just took? You didn't even think about it. You know how your heart's beating right now? You can't even make that happen. So why won't you trust him? Why? Trust him. He's giving you life in this very moment. He's allowing whatever the situation is to happen to you because on the other side of it is something beautiful. So why not trust? You get that? Like you can't even control your breath and your heartbeat. So what you worried about stuff for? Come on now. Only need 
faith the size of a mustard seed to move a mountain. Go to Christina S. Christina S. Johnson dot com and get your mustard seed necklace if you need a little reminder, huh? About how is not your business. Just keep the desires of your heart in front of you. Walk towards them. Walk towards them. Not run, water walkers. We walk. We don't run. Because when you walk somewhere, you walk in confidence, right? Meaning, hey, can't nothing stop me. I'm unstoppable. I'm walking. I ain't got to run. Can't nobody take my stuff. Like, come on, get your faith up. And then watch God blow your mind. Yeah. Next question. Oh, that was the last question. And we just hit 15 minutes. I love you. Thank you, guys. Subscribe, subscribe, share, share, share. Leave comments down below. Thank you for watching. It's the Braley, Braley Show. Everybody, everybody say my name. Got my own thing. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> Peace and good old hair grease. See y'all next time. Ask me more questions over on Instagram. Peace. <laughs>